everyone! My name is Blanca. I am a teaching artist at the New Victory Theater. I am an actress, a theater maker, and a mover. And I'm very happy to welcome you today to my apartment in Harlem, in Manhattan, where I live with my fiance, Gordon, who is a photographer and, as usual, he is behind the camera today and he's gonna help me record this video for you. So, um, as many of you probably, um, I am now having to stay at home more than usual because of the coronavirus. And I don't want that to stop me from moving. So I wanted to share with you a fun game that you can play at home. And it doesn't require a lot of space. We all know apartments are usually not very big. So this game will allow you to move and it only requires one other person. But if there's more of you at home, the more the merrier. So this is how it goes. One of you will be the choreographer and the rest of the people who are playing will be the movers. So the choreographer will hold a piece of paper. This is a regular piece of paper. A piece of paper with their two hands and they will move the piece of paper as they please. And what the movers will have to do is follow the moves of the paper with their bodies. So mimic the movement of the paper with their own bodies. So for instance, if the choreographer does this with the piece of paper, maybe the movers want to do this. Or if the choreographer does this with the piece of paper, maybe the movers want to bend like this. But remember, there is no right or wrong in this game. So the, the choreographer will do whatever they are inspired to do and the movers will respond the way they interpret the, the move they are seeing. So that interpretation usually will look very similar in all the movers, but it doesn't have to. So um, I'm thinking that maybe we can try a round of this and see how it goes, shall we? So I'm gonna play a music, I actually I'm gonna play two different tunes I like very much, and we'll see how it goes. Are you ready? So stand up and get ready to move. But if for whatever reason standing up is not an option for you, this is a game you can absolutely play sitting down. Okay. So let's go.
So how did it go? Did you realize any change in the quality of the movements when we played the first tune and the second? Was it any different? One thing also interesting to think about is that we were using a regular piece of paper, but you can also use any other materials you have at home as long as they are a little flexible. For instance, you could do this with a t-shirt and see how the fabric of the t-shirt affects the quality of the movements. You could also use a large bed sheet that maybe also holds in a different way and can also be fun to try or a towel that is a little heavier and how does a towel move differently from the other materials or even you could go and try materials that are less flexible but that can also move and can provoke a completely different quality of movements in the movers so um, that was the game. I hope you can try different tunes, different rhythms and tempos and different materials to inform different qualities of movement and play with everybody at home. And by the way, if there are more than two people at home and you want to play with an audience, you can also do that. Just uh, make sure that you position your choreographer behind the backs of the audience so the audience and the choreographer are looking at the movers and the movers are seeing what the choreographer is leading them to do. So that was the game. I hope you try it and I hope you have a lot of fun doing it. And don't forget checking the other activities and videos that are posted on this page. Um, and have fun and enjoy your arts break. Bye.